Andrew, uh, I was just talking to Andrew the other day. Apparently, he will get on my stream, but just probably after the Fresh and Fit collab that they have in the UK. But that's going to be big. That's going to be big. He's like, oh, well, I have a lot of things in the works. No, that's Tristan's voice. I can't even distinguish the two. Let me just watch it. The 41 Tenets of Tatism. Rumble. Follow Sneaker Live on Rumble. Follow Tatesbees on Rumble. Damn, Rumble's got 4K? There's been a lot of confusion lately regarding exactly who I am and what I believe in. I've been asked a lot of questions regarding my upbringing, my ethnicity, my religion, people trying to understand how I view the world. And for that reason, I've decided to put together 41 tenets, the 41 tenets of Tatism. I've mentioned them a few times before, but I want to actually explain them all here, once and for all. The reason I think they're so important is because they're universally applicable. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, it doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, old, young, it doesn't matter what status or standing you currently have in life. I believe if you live true to these tenets, it is the best possible framework in which you can conduct yourself to be massively successful. I also believe not only do you have a fantastic human experience, but all of the people around you will benefit from your existence. This is the best way to become the most capable, powerful, and competent version of yourself. And by extension, make you the most good for the people who love you. And by further extension, how many bots in the chat? I want to get, get a consensus right now. W or L T? Most good to the world as a whole. And for that reason, I wanted to outline them to you and make it very, very clear how I view the world. It doesn't matter if you are in a position where you face a difficult decision and you're not sure which path to take. The tenets will guide you on the correct path. It doesn't matter if you are looking to do something you've never done before and you're not sure exactly how to approach it. It doesn't matter if you are drastically attempting to improve your social standing or your physical capability. Living true to these tenets in and of itself pleases God and it pleases the universe and it makes you an extremely lucky person because it's amazing how luck can be self-constructed. And that's why I see myself as exceptionally lucky as well. Classic Tay W. I was exceptionally capable and competent. Who am I? Who? Am I? And that's why my life is so fantastic and I've truly never lost. So I want to outline them to you and I hope that all the people at home can understand them, pay attention to them, and I hope as many men as possible adopt them. Many men! Because I truly believe the entire world can be a better place if the male gender as a whole across all cultures and creeds live true to these tenets which have served me fantastically. Yay! Classic Tate W. I believe what colors you Bugatti? That men have okay, the okay. divine imperative to become as capable, powerful, and competent as possible in this life. That is the first tenet, and one of the most powerful. Terrible font. The second, I reserve the human right to hold my own beliefs and practice them as I see fit. And I allow other people the same right to believe and act as they wish. I prefer loving, rewarding, consensual relationships with beautiful, positive, and virtuous women. I believe men and women are different and that each has their own unique and important strengths and abilities. Hey, you notice he does this, this hand symbol all the time? What does this mean? Is this some... I notice this a lot in all the pictures he's taken, and I'm noticing a lot of, like, uh, cigar kids posing like this, too. Is this me? Conspiracy dudes. I know a lot of got like, Gematria people watching. What the fuck? What, what is this? What is, and now this is going to be screenshotted. You know what I'm saying? This is going to show up in an Illuminati video now. Is that the it? Is. I believe men have the sacred duty to protect and provide for the important people in their lives. I believe men have the sacred duty to protect the innocence and sanctity of their children and reserve the right and responsibility to raise their children as they see best to ensure their long-term happiness and success. I agree. I believe that men have the sacred duty to raise strong, capable, and honorable sons. I believe that men have the sacred duty to raise kind, feminine, and virtuous daughters. Yep. I utterly disprove of violence within romantic or familial relationships. Classic TW. I support good and honest governments and will obey their laws. I prefer to only conduct business dealings with my trusted and vetted brothers. Yep. I believe that a man has the sacred duty to hold true to his word and do exactly what he says he will do. I believe that a man's life is difficult and he has the sacred duty to become strong to handle such difficulty. I believe men are personally responsible for their actions and for the results they achieve 
within their lives. I believe in emotional control and the vital need to become disciplined and professional in all realms. I believe that men have the sacred duty to approach everything in life from a position of strength. I believe that all men have the sacred duty to become men of upright and virtuous character and to live above all possible reproach. But they don't clip this up. They clip up the parts where he's saying problematic, toxic shit. And looking back, he probably was like, he was realizing that the toxic masculinity shit, women can't drive. Women are not capable of driving. They are inferior beings. He was really like, that went viral and that was getting a lot of attention. So it was working. But he wasn't trying, he wasn't saying anything he didn't mean. He just knew that saying shit like that was gonna get people riled up and get people triggered. The problem is bots are dumb. Bots only see that shit. He's a trafficker, he hates women. and doesn't hear this shit. This is what he actually believes. These are good ideas to live life by, but the toxic misogynist, that's what everybody's going to focus on. And that's why, probably like a big reason why he got banned. I believe it is incumbent upon me to ruthlessly identify my own weaknesses and limitations, and I eagerly work to overcome them and become more capable in all realms. I seek to improve my personal freedom to think, act, and live true to my masculine imperative in all ways. I believe each man has a sacred duty to mold his physical body into the strongest, most resilient, and most capable version of itself possible. I believe that men have the sacred duty to rigorously train themselves both physically and mentally every yeah. day. I believe yeah. that I have the sacred duty to only eat the highest quality foods possible to maintain my health, virality, and masculine virility. I reserve the right to protect the sanctity he told me to train more. And this is advice from, from Andrew. He said to train more and also to play chess. Chess is going to make your, your, your IQ 145 genius level like mine. And also fighting is going to... It's just good for men. I've noticed that my, my mental health has been much better since I've been training and going to the gym regularly. Whenever I feel lazy and then I go to the gym, my day is way more productive. When I wake up and immediately do physical exercise, that cures a lot of the fucking cloud in my head. of my bloodstream and make my own decisions about medical care and procedures. I affirm the importance of endlessly improving my mental faculties through diligent work, study, and practice. I believe in acquiring wealth and abundance in order to improve my life and do good for those I care about and the world. I believe in the merits of healthy competition and constantly encourage all men to seek out competition to improve themselves. Competition is really is one of the most motivational things you could do to, uh, like for example, Hamza, we had uh, beef like in season one of my streaming. And then he said like, Sneeko, you're literally falling off YouTube. You don't do self-improvement anymore. You're Jeffrey, I'm Adonis. You're falling, your main channel's literally dying. And since then I'm like, what, what, what? And I turned up. Ever since he said that, my channel has never grown faster. Both channels. Sneak on my main channel, which is my real shit. This streaming is just, this is just a side hustle, really. I, I, I mean, I'm an artist. Everybody knows why I got the Millie plaque. All the YouTubers know and respect it. Every YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. Hamza challenging me and making, like, putting pressure on me was the most motivational thing that happened in my streaming. So even though he was talking shit, that was competition that I genuinely needed. I believe that masculine brotherhood is essential to men's mental health, happiness, and success and I relentlessly encourage men to meet together, train together, and work together. I mean, People in my creativity kit always ask, like, where do I find people that are more like-minded like me? All my friends smoke weed all day, play Fortnite, are vaping, just going to parties and not getting bitches. I wanna find more like-minded people because what Tate just said is really true. Classic KW. The, the five people that you surround yourself with the most end up molding your personality. It's not just the five people, the five ideas you're around. So if you're in the same hometown with the same people that you grew up with and just playing Call of Duty and beating your meat and vaping, you're, gonna, you're not going to progress. And so people always ask me, where do I find like-minded people? Personally, I find in the Creativity Kit. I, that's a good place to find it if you don't have that people. The Creativity Kit, we have a call on Wednesday. Every three times a week we have calls, people network, people talk, and now they're meeting and I even found a lot of editors a job with Step is Cold. I found my editor and a lot of the, the people that I talk to today, a lot of them I found through YouTube and through streaming. Musa, my editor, my producer, I found on Omegle on a live stream. Jordan Welch, another friend of mine who's now working with, we are business partners and he's a multi-millionaire. I met him through Patreon. He signed up for my Patreon tier three 
and I reviewed his video, and now we're friends. I met my 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 main girlfriend, like my, my girlfriend, she met me because she recognized me from one of my videos. She saw how people view the video where I'm shaving my head. The people that I spend the most time with in life right now are all people that I've met through the internet. That's the new age. That's the people who you're gonna like how you're gonna find like-minded entrepreneurs, people who are not bot-minded. Let's be honest, the people that you're friends with, the people that you spend the most time with in your hometown, a lot of bots. A lot of bots. WL, you know that's true. So to find like-minded people, it's easier to find it on the internet. The creativity kit is a great place too. See you on Wednesday in our call. Maintain the trust of brothers through reverent silence regarding our most sacred. There you go. Excellent, just donated $5 and said, bro, I had my first call in the kit today and met three guys teaching me to edit and make my goals a reality. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Shared experiences. I believe in honoring my ancestors and living in a way that would make most of them proud of me today. Yep. I reserve the right to administer difficult rites of passage for our young men to allow them to earn the rank of manhood. I affirm the importance and need for travel and adventure as men. I seek to help men overcome poor mental health through embracing hard work, physical improvements, and shared masculine brotherhood. I reserve the right to make the best choices I can at the time to protect my self-respect and my mental health. What he really promotes, and what I realized from doing the, the streams with Tristan, is what they're like classic gentlemen. I'm a classic man, like put on suits, take girls out and pay for the dinner, give them roses and everything, pull up and hold her hand and open the door. They act like the most classic gentlemen, like James Bond types. Yes, they fuck around, you got a rotation, but you always gotta treat your woman like a gentleman. You always have to act and conduct yourself like a real man, like James Bond would, all the time. You can't let up. And obviously that's something that I'm working on. I'm fucking spastic, I'm here running around. I, I do a lot of stupid shit. I could be more mature, but that's actually how they conduct themselves. The toxic trafficking, whatever bullshit idea that the fucking bots made you believe in how they really are, that's all distraction. That's because they were trying to be entertaining. I mean, it worked. They captured all of your attention. They were trying to be funny, and it, you know, everybody was, is addicted to their content. They're living rent-free in all the haters' heads. That's what you think they are. But in real life and how they conduct themselves, I'm telling you, I, I know Tristan, classic gentleman. I do good in the world and seek to help those who are less fortunate than myself. I believe all men have the responsibility to lead and guide those they care for to greater health, prosperity, and happiness. I choose to only interact with those who are respectful and civil in return for my own respect and civility. I reserve the freedom to speak and refer to others as I believe is best and most truthful. I reserve the right to choose my company and include only those whom I believe are best for my health, happiness, and success. Only surround yourself with winners. If you have negative people in your life, it's gonna bleed into your mind. It's contagious. It feeds into you, like those people who are depressed, who are meh, always complaining about something, always protesting some bullshit, people who aren't making money, losers. If you're surrounding yourself with losers, you're gonna be a loser too. Play. Oh, come on, Rumble, don't do this. I go. believe I have an imperative to only spend my time in a way that I determine is beneficial, uplifting, and empowering to myself and others. I choose to only allow myself to be influenced by those who I believe have my best interests in mind. Each day I dedicate myself anew to create the greatest possible positive impact on the world and do the work necessary to achieve a greater masculine excellence across all realms of human endeavor. These are the 41 tenets I believe in. The reason I decided to outline these to the world is not only because I've been greatly misunderstood, but so has my organization, The War Room. These are the tenets of The War Room in which we conduct ourselves in all matters, whether it's personal, business, financial, relationships, our duty to our ancestors, our bloodline, and our families, and the people we love and we care about. I decided to outline these to the world as I've been greatly misunderstood, and I would like to discuss them in more detail with those who understand the power they can bring to somebody who truly internalizes them and feels affinity to my worldview. Since the dawn of human time, men have lived by frameworks. We've had religions, we've had societies, we've had traditions to live within. This has been destroyed, which is why so many people are confused, sad, and lost. This is a framework by which I conduct my life, and if success or results speak for itself, 
then I would like to think that it's very difficult to actually question my framework for existence. This is also the framework in which my organization operates, and I would like to spread this message far and wide. So for this reason, on the email address below, tate at cobratate.com, you can email me for a free copy of these tenets, as well as some notes, some additions, some explanations for each one, although they're fairly self- Yo, Maj, you're doing a terrible job. This chat's making me look bad right now. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Explanatory. I'd like to think that any man who decides to adopt these and live by them will see a drastic improvement in their life in real time. And once you truly understand this framework, you understand how much more powerful you can be as an individual if you share a network, which also adhere to the same rules. Imagine how much better your life will be if you follow these tenets. Now imagine you are part of a network of thousands of men around the world who, again, adhere to the same framework to ensure they lived their best possible lives and were the best possible versions of themselves. That's exactly what the war room is. That's exactly who we are. And I truly believe we're the most powerful organization on the face of the planet today for any young man, regardless of social standing, regardless of religious connotation, regardless of creed. My primary life objective was always to have unmatched perspicacity and sheer indefatigability, to be a feared opponent in any perspicacity and an infatigability realm of human endeavor. And nearly everybody I associate with on the face of the planet. That was a quote from his dad. I think his name is Emery, this chess player. said that after he beat the shit out of five Mexican guys in a gas station and Tate was crying. Believes the same. Once you reach a certain level of competence, you understand exactly how powerful that is. Mystery of Godliness says Antichrist vibes. First off, we both believe in God. And also, these extra religious people feel the need to say that everything's satanic all the time. I guarantee you you're an extra, extra Christian, and then you just say this shit about everybody that you don't agree with all the time. Come on, man. Not everybody's Satan. I see what I'm saying? These are the type of people I'm talking about. Be aware of controlled opposition. Question everything. These are the fucking 17-year-old kids who are like, Illuminati, if, um, Andrew Tate is Andrew Hate. Hate is the, like, those people who make all these Illuminati connections all the goddamn time and make these, like, <laughs> like the stereotypical people who are obsessed with the Illuminati.